Hello, in this video I will tell about what electro imp electrochemical impedance spectroscopy is. What is the difference between impedance and resistance? What are the linear and non-linear systems? Which conditions must be maintained for impedance measurement? How the impedance data is presented? What are the elements for equivalent circuits? And information about electrolyte resistance, capacitance, charge transfer resistance and diffusion will also be discussed. Information about 2, 3 and 4 electrode impedance spectroscopy systems also will be discussed and at the end will be some examples. So let's start. Electrochemical impedance spectroscopy is used to study the electrical properties of materials and their interfaces by using electronically conducting electrodes. The response of a system to an applied sinusoidally varying alternating voltage is recorded as a function of frequencies. Impedance analysis of ionic solids identifies the elementary process such as the bulk conduction ionic transport, grain boundary conditions and the electrode electrolyte interface process in the measured frequency domain. EIS is a non-destructive technology means it will not change the voltage or current in any sample. The sample can be used in other measurements again. Impedance is a complex electrical resistance which register the flow of electric current in the system but does not follow the Ohm's law. In the EIS measurement, an AC potential is applied to an electrochemical cell and the current is measured through the cell or vice versa. Electrical resistance has the ability to resist the flow of current and follow the Ohm's law. Ideal register is valid at all voltage and current levels and ideal register is always independent of frequency. Ideal capacitor is in this AC current and voltage are completely out of phase and current follows the voltage. Next slide how the current and voltage are following or in the ideal register and ideal capacitor. In the ideal register the current is and voltages are in phase but in ideal capacitor they are out of phase. Like resistance impedance also measures in ohm but it replaces the simple concept of resistance and capacitance. Impedance takes the phase differences between input voltage and output current into account. For impedance, Ohm's law becomes like this. B equal to I multiplied by Z. Z is the impedance. Impedance can be defined as a complex resistance. It, it has a total opposition when a current flow through a circuit. It can composed of various registers, capacitors or inductors. And impedance is valid for both systems whether it's a DC system or AC systems. Actually impedance analysis of linear systems is much easier than analysis of a non-linear systems. Linear, linear systems possesses the important property of superposition. If the input consists of the weight sum of several signals then the output is simply the superposition of the responses of the systems to each of the signals. Linear systems do not produce any harmonics of the excitation frequency. For a potentiostatic electrochemical systems, the input is potential and the output is current. Most of the electrochemical cells are not linear, 
for example if we increase if we double the voltage then we cannot see that the current will also be double at a small ac signals from for example 1 to 10 millivolt the electrochemical systems showed a pseudo linear behavior the presence and absence of significant harmonic responses can be used to determine the system linearity for non-linear systems the current response will contain harmonics of excitation frequency a harmonics is a frequency equal to an integral multiplied by the fundamental frequency second harmonics is two times the fundamental frequency now let's talk about which conditions must be maintained for the electrochemical impedance spectroscopy measurement the system being measured must be at a steady state system which change with time may cause problem in the standard EIS measurements. Study systems can be difficult to maintain due to several reasons like absorption of solution impurities, growth of an oxide layer, buildup of reaction products, coating degradation and temperature change can be affected the impedance measurement severely. Nyquist plot is normally used to present the impedance data in that the impedance is the composed of real and imaginary part. Each point on the Nyquist plot is the impedance at one frequency. Nyquist plots are based on equivalent circuits. Semicircle in the Nyquist plot is a characteristic of a single time constant. An electrochemical impedance plots often contain several semicircles. Bode plot is another impedance data presentation opportunity which show frequency information as well as phase angles. EIS data are analyzed by fitting to an equivalent circuit model. There are some common circuit elements. Very few electrochemical cells can be modeled using a single equivalent circuit elements. EIS models consist of a several number of elements in a network which can be both in series and parallel so you can see that how the register inductor and capacitors in with the simple concept of register and impedance are shown in this slide now we talk about the electronic or electrolyte resistance electronic resistance comes from all cables setup and electrolyte resistance etc resistance of an ionic solution depends on the ionic concentration types of ions temperature and area of the cell double layer capacitance an electrical double layer exits on the interface between an electrode and its surrounding electrolytes double layer forms by sticking ions on the electrode surface then charged electrode is separated from the charged ion by an insulating space and this capacitor formation then capacitor formation takes place the value of double layer capacitor depends on electrode potential temperature ionic concentrations type of ions oxide layers, electrode roughness and absorption of impurities. Polarization, polarization occurs 
by electrochemical reactions at electrode surface. The amount of current is controlled by the kinetics of the reactions and the diffusion of reactants both towards and away from the electrode. For example, electrode normally undergoes uniform corrosion at open circuit voltage and open circuit voltage is controlled by the equilibrium between electrochemical reactions at anode and cathode and when open circuit potential equilibrates at the potential where cathodic current and ionic current is equal it is called mixed potential arch transfer resistance in this single kinetically controlled electrochemical reactions causes a charge transfer resistance in this v charge transfer resistance does not have a mixed potential so in this there will be no cathodic currents and anodic currents will not be equal for example metal surface in the electrolyte and the charge transfer resistance depends on the kind of reaction temperature concentration of reaction products and applied potential in the next slide we talk about the constant phase element most important part constant phase element is non-intuitive circuit element which explains the depressed circles and most of the electrochemical cells shows a depressed semical circles constant phase equation is as follows where n is when n is equal to 1 constant phase element becomes a capacitor for this the phase angle is never 90 degree but always less than 90 degree at all frequencies what are the reason who causes the constant phase elements there could be several reasons for example surface roughness distribution of reaction rates varying thickness or composition and non-uniform current distribution diffusion Impedance due to diffusion is called Warburg impedance. Impedance depends on the perturbation frequency. At high frequencies, a small Warburg impedance results. At low frequency, a higher Warburg impedance is generated. You can see in the figure the line is where is showing what is the Warburg impedance in the Nyquist plot it is always has a angle around 45 degree now let's talk about some examples of equivalent circuit model in this Nyquist plot you can see one semicircle the first cut on the semicircles tells the electronic resistance and where the semicircle ends gives the information about charge transfer resistance. You can see in from the figure the lines are showing the charged electronic resistance and the charge transfer resistance for a simple single semicircle Nyquist plot. Second example, you can see that there is a semicircle and barwork impedance. So you can and see that there is something that has a 45 degree angle and it tells about the diffusion process in the system now let's talk about how many types of impedance systems can be measured for example Impedance can be measured by two electrodes, three electrodes and four electrode systems. It depends on the sample. Two electrode system normally used when precise control of the potential is not critical. It is used to investigate 
electrolyte properties such as conductivity or to characterize solid state systems. Three electrode system is used for typical electrochemical applications. For example, lithium ion battery. Third electrode, which is called reference electrode, is used to determine the potential of the working electrode precisely. Reference electrode is reversible and maintained at constant potential during measurement. Four electrode system is used to analyze reactions occurring within the electrolyte between two measuring electrodes separated by a membrane, for example, fuel cells. In the four electrode systems, working and counter electrodes enable current flows. Four electrodes is used to study the ion transport through a membrane and electronic or ionic conductivity is measured in this system. So, as the small tutorial about the electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. Thank you for watching.